Hey guys, Kevin Martin here of Zoopin.com. Uh, today I'm here to talk about The Walking Dead. A little bit of recap slash review of Episode 5 alone. Well, Episode 5 since the mid-season break, of course. Now, last week's episode, I wasn't very happy with Emo Daryl. Just didn't seem in character. But, this week it's back on track, the show. Which has been pretty solid the second half this year. Just saying. So, we have Daryl and Beth, and then also the other group that they focus on this week are Maggie, Bob, and Sasha, which I love Maggie's determination to find Glenn, just like Glenn's determination to find Maggie. They just hold on to all hope that they will find each other. True love there. Um, we also see Mary Hale from Sons of Anarchy with his group again. And of course, it's all heading towards, because three episodes left after tonight, tonight, well, last night, ter ter Terminus, where they're all going towards. I'm not going to do any spoilers on that, but if you read the comic book, you might have an idea of where it's going to, where it's heading. So, very exciting things that happened. I have a feeling the last few episodes are going to be amazing. Um, the... When Maggie takes off the head of the zombie with the stop sign, well, the street sign, fucking awesome. And then, see, see, I like the episode, but, I don't know, it seems sort of empty. It sounds weird. I think just compared to last week, Daryl's emo stuff really bothered me. But, the fact of Daryl... Well, yeah. First of all, we le we learned about when Bob got to meet Glenn and Daryl, and how he got to be in the group. A little more by him. I like that little flashback. They didn't drag on too long, but get to know the guy a little more. So then we get I'm all over the place. I know because these episodes, the direction, and the order. Yeah. Um. So then we have. My favorite part was when they're in the church, um, where they they, they, have, they found um, a stash, uh, Daryl and Beth, and they're eating it there, they're having fun, but of course, shit goes crazy. Tons and tons of zombies coming to the house all at once. The fact of Daryl, the way he goes, he has to fight back, he gets cornered in the morgue. Or body prep room. It's pretty awesome. It's good to see Daryl not. Oh, he's always going to kill me. Daryl got to be a badass again. But Beth got taken. Because they got separated at the time. So. It's going to be very interesting. Because Daryl got caught by Hale's group. So. Next week. And the two weeks after. I have a feeling things are just going to fucking light off and be amazing. I could be wrong. The show has built up expectations before and been like, eh. But the second half, I have faith in them. So, watch the episode. And this week, no Daryl. I mean, no Michonne. No Carl. No Rick. But still. Carl, stay in the fucking house. Hopefully I bring him back soon. Kind of missed the little fucker. Peace.